Today we're going to be talking about another set of readers uh, called the theme-based readers, and we'll also talk about the YCT readers and these other read-alongs we have. So first about the theme-based readers and a little bit of background. So these were developed for lots of the international schools that teach the IB program, the International Baccalaureate program, but for young learners, the PYP themes. So that in the PYP program they have all these interdisciplinary themes that cover a wide range of topics. And so these uh, schools were worked with Mandarin Matrix to develop these readers to have Chinese books that cover a wide variety of topics and themes. And that's the first thing that I love about these books is the, the variety of what they cover. So as a, as a teacher, I've taught in Immersion and in a FLESS program. And a lot of times you're, you're, you're needing a book about a specific topic. Maybe you're trying to connect with what your English teacher's partner teacher's doing or some other topic that the school is talking about at that time. So in this series, you can find a variety of topics to, to choose from. So maybe it's about weather. You could have a weather at a low proficiency and at a high proficiency range, whatever you want to do. This is amazing for differentiation. So if you're talking about rocks or weather or Chinese cultural things, you can be assigning kids books to read at a variety of proficiency levels. Maybe this student's reading a simpler book about weather and this one, maybe they're a heritage speaker, you're assigning them a more challenging book to read about weather but you still are on the same theme. So these books are divided up into different levels and they are, uh, these diff they're indicated by different colors. So the colors show the proficiency level and as you go up they get harder and harder. And they, but they still follow the themes. You can see the themes on the back of the hard copy books. And if you're doing it on the online platform, you can follow the levels based on how they're arranged in uh, the platform. So what we like about the theme-based readers is how many topics they cover. They are a little bit different than our uh, proficiency builders in that they're not so systematic, meaning that the language you learn in one book, you won't necessarily see in another, see in another book or, or review. You're not, you won't necessarily review it um, in other books. Just have that recycled. But what's great about it is you can pull, those are good books for just pulling out randomly as opposed to the theme, uh, the proficiency builders where you don't, you want to stay in the sequence. Now the theme based readers, you, you grab these books and you can use them in whichever way you want. I really liked using them as read alouds. So I could start a class out or if I wanted to emphasize a certain topic, I could do the read aloud and read it from the board on a projector and I didn't have to purchase all these books to have that. Uh, in library in my class. I did have a few of these readers in my class that we'd have uh, as small group readings, but mostly I would do it as read alouds. And I really liked having these books for the differentiated enhancement of what I were teaching from the proficiency builders. So I had to take these books and assign them to kids at home. I had different groups on my online platform so I could assign books to different kids based on their interest level and their proficiency levels. So it's a really uh, good, flexible reading series that you can really hit lots of different student needs. On top of that, we have the YCT readers. These books were built based on the YCT uh, test, which is the young Chinese learner test that Chinese government puts together to kind of rate your uh, student's proficiency level. Now we use the, the vocabulary list for those different tests, like YCT1, YCT2, YCT3, and we develop stories out of those vocabulary lists. So reading those stories at, uh, actually will help you understand the proficiency builder stories as well because they're based on frequency lists and, and we reference similar vocabulary lists. Now these books, they're really good for getting a student ready to do the YCT test or to just read a book in general. So it's just more books for you to be able to read and expand a student's vocabulary. We also have a bunch of other great books. Uh, we have the Pangu, which is a, more of a cartoon reading series. It's more uh, exciting kind of more dynamic uh, illustrations. We also have Chinese famous people which are biographies about Chinese famous people and we have also a, a pre-k kind of series called the Max and May series which is, which is more of a bilingual text uh, for English and Chinese and so we've, we're constantly developing more material. There's a lot of resources available to read. What's great about the online classroom why, why we constantly encourage teachers and schools and programs and parents to purchase that is you can get all those books all in one spot and you don't have to buy them all individually. And as you're using them, you can use what you want for that short time and be done with it and always have that library available to you. And as always, we're always happy to answer more questions or, or help you understand maybe the best books and seri reading series for your school and, and the unique program that you have. So again, we're really uh, interested in contacting you and, and answering any more questions and helping you know which which books and which series would work best for your school. So reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions and we'll see you again later. Thank you.